The Confederacy of Dunks is now on the Talkhole Podcast Network. Check out talkhole.co for more great podcasts. Hello. Can anyone around here speak basketball? It's the Confederacy of Dunks with Kevin Douse and Freddie Rebus. Happy holidays. Hey, I'm not going to say happy holidays because I hate when Jack does that. Great. Oh, yeah, the song. <laughs> he's the like, singing. happy holidays. <laughs> Isn't he so folksy, though? Yeah. So he's, folksy. He's pretty funny. Um, a lot of people hate Jack, not me. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Matt? I'm doing great, thanks. Uh, I went and bought some peanut butter and had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich before you guys got here. Mm, nice. I was really having a hankering for it. Was it like, is it fresh crushed? Oh, I got like the, Healthy. you know that Italian bread that's like super thick and like you buy once every three years? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that. Texas toast? Pretty much. But nice. Like, the, the Italiano one. Okay, oh, yeah, good. Like yeah. Convenience store bread. You're not seeing yeah, that? Yeah, yeah exactly. That. That's where I got yeah, it. But the good one. <laughs> um, uh, well, uh, I'm Freddie. My, my name's Kevin, everybody. Um, hey guys, that's Matt. That's Matt. I'm Matt Duncan. Let's uh, let's get going. Let's uh, let's do some intros here. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure, sure. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, uh, first up, um, I know her through uh, an online obsessive uh, Raptors Facebook thing. Um, I actually hope I pronounced your last name right, Good Katie. Luck. He- Good luck, Katie Heindel. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> New intro music. He's pointing to his veins. He's saying he has ice in his veins. <laughs> oh, he's right. How's it going? It's going good. Finally made it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we tried to have Katie on before. Uh, through the phone. Didn't work. It's a bit of a disaster, but... Um, we got you, you stop, now. Freddie, you gotta stop harping on that. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm, I'm really like bringing that up. You know what? I got to bring it up. I, I can't forget the past, right? We got to learn from <laughs> our got to learn from our mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to look towards the future, the future of comedy being our next guest. Uh, please welcome yes. Patrick Ronan Stewart, everybody. What the dunks up? What the dunk buddies? What the dunkineers? What the dunk yeah. boys? Keep going. Oh, man. It's me, Dunk Marin. <laughs> oh, boy. Are we ever going to have what the dunk tonight? We, we got Dwayne Casey on the pod, but first... An hour of me playing the guitar. <laughs> nice. How are you? He climbed a mountain that whole time. Mm-hmm. I just got to do that the whole time. Yes. The whole show, he's got to play that character. Yep. Dunks Marin. Dunks, me dunks. doing a great Mark Marin impression, as I'm doing right now. Right, folks? Yes, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just going to talk about the time you got dunked on as a kid, and like it made you sad, and that's why you do basketball now? I got dunked on once in my life, actually. Was it the best? Because I would love to get dunked no, on. No, it honestly. sucked. But... It didn't count because the dude didn't clear it, mm. so it wasn't a real dunk. But it felt oh, like a real dunk yeah. because of the yeah. physical aspect. Yes. Yeah, you got dunked on. I got dunked like. on, <laughs> but it was good for the team. Yeah. For sure, it sounds like you got dunked on. Well, yeah. I mean, it was a turnover. It was good for me, though. Yeah, it was yeah. like taking a charge, except you got dunked on. Yeah, like yeah. that happens to Steve Nash all the time. Oh, man. Have you seen all of those dunks on Steve Nash? They're so sad because he's never <laughs> going for the block. He's just there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, speaking of Steve Nash, uh, <laughs> he is here. He is he here. Is furious. Yeah, he's here. He's angry. He's going to talk about his divorce. It's going to get real messy. Please give it up for my friend, Mark Little. Canada's Steve Nash. <laughs> Hello. Western, Western Canada's Steve Nash. Like that. Western Canada's Victoria, BC's Steve Nash. Yep. In the flesh. Hi, guys. Hey, buddy. Am I? Oh, I was on. There was like a tune playing. It was. Yeah. I had my headphones. On. I think it was a Teen Ravine track. There's what like a Teen Ravine fans out there? No, we don't have the rights. Sorry. How are you, you buddy? Good. Feeling. Uh, feeling good. Doing well. Good. 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 Um. Well, yeah, we got a we got a lot to get to. Um. Let's just start with the uh, the old raps. Um. Toronto Raptors. They're good friends. Uh, things are looking pretty amazing right now. Um. You know, we have this historically high offense clicking. DeMar Carroll's back. Uh, seems like the uh, on-game, off-game thing's working for him. Um, Terrence Ross is uh, shooting the lights out. Lowry's looking like he's a top 15 player. DeRozan still looks good. Um, I'm just going to ask, 
Do you think that there's anything we should be worried about? Um, maybe I'll start with you, Pat. I mean, I think it's obvious. Like, are we better than the Cavs? No. Uh, if you're cool with that, cool. Uh, we'll have fun in the playoffs for a bit and then lose. But it'll still be a fun ride. But I don't think there's any way that we beat the Cavs in the playoffs. Um, I don't see us winning a championship at all. Uh, but, hey, it's a lot of fun. We got alternative jerseys this year, and we're all and we're all stunting. We're all stunting hard. Sure, Jesus Christ, Pat. Stark. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know, I I asked, is there anything we should be worried about? Katie, do you think there's anything we should be worried about? Uh, I think we don't have like uh, the next gear yet. We yeah. like mm-hmm. can't like in that sense of like a Cavs or something like that. Like we yeah. can't we can't kick it up a notch. So it's good. So like I'm I'm kind of gathering. It's like hard to enjoy the ride. No, I'm enjoying it, it. It for sure will end. No. 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 I see it like it. having a very sick dog. You're like, I love playing with this dog, but not going to make it through the year. Really? Oh, man, yeah. but, but what if it's Jeez. like... Yeah, that's that, pretty fun. That's pretty... That's like... That's uh, that so to me much is bleaker like, than yeah, I Yeah, that's like Sacramento. This or has like, been my favorite season yeah. ever. Ever. Yeah, me too. Ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a cool dog when he's not sick. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. It's a great dog. <laughs> Last year was so much fun. When that dog's not sick, you can't even keep up with it. It's oh. just like saving people all the time. It's yeah. so great. Feeding you. Um, Mark, do you think we have anything to be worried about or should be worried about i think possibly raptors fans killing themselves <laughs> yeah <laughs> um well sure yeah i mean the only reason we can't beat cleveland is because we don't have lebron but nobody has lebron so like we can't beat lebron but i don't know everything else rules it's great yeah i can't is... believe how deep our team is it's crazy terrence ross is good what the hell are you talking about i mean terrence ross was always gonna be like Good enough, I thought, and now he's just sort of more consistently that, which is very exciting. I don't hated him it. every pre. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Every year I say it, and every year <laughs> yeah. I'm the one. No, I'm the one. no, I feel but like we... he was like last year. I couldn't believe he was getting minutes over Norman Powell, and now I can. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, it's like he's done, he's doing exactly what you want him to do, which is like hitting shots and then driving when they take his shot I've, away. It's like I've straight up been on like Ross Island the whole time, just because I like he's an elite shooter, always has been. And like it makes sense that like other parts of his game would come around at the what is he like twenty five? Mm. I yeah. feel like um, you know if a player is like twenty six, twenty seven, and like is really not correcting their mistakes or like even I don't know some players develop even like later some like like Marvin Williams for yeah. um, the Bobcats is playing like amazing basketball that he's like he started playing amazing at like twenty nine, mm. and I, I know you can't like well that's hold, because of the fifth like because like he's because he's played perfect for this NBA. But yeah. he wasn't in this NBA when he was first playing. Right. You know, he was on the Hawks, with, and there's no room for him on that roster. Yeah, but, like, for for me anyways, I feel like Ross has always yeah. been in the right, like, he's in his perfect time. He probably yeah, had to cause... come to terms with being a bench guy, too. I, I imagine that's always, like, a bit of a transition, and then, like, yeah. how hard do I try it also, in like, that role? Well, it's I, weird, because I, like, I thought he was going to be like, oh, this guy is, like, he's a starter. You know, because be, because he dropped that uh, uh, that fifty point game and he was a dunk champion. I'm like, oh, this makes sense. You mm-hmm. know, maybe he was he's eight. new Vince Carter. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, now he's just a bench guy, and I'm happy that I'm comfortable with that, and I'm happy that he's comfortable with that. Actually, it's <laughs> that's yeah, it's nice to see. Everyone's yeah. comfortable and uh, feeling good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, that's actually good because I, I want to talk about um, rotations. Is there any like rotational issues you see, Kevin? I didn't hit you up in the last one. Well, yeah, I mean that that sort of actually ties into. What my only worry at the moment would be, I mean, I guess aside from injuries, because that's always a thing, but I think our bench is, I think our good bench is also on an insane hot streak right now. And I don't think everyone's going to be doing it at the same time all year. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think some rotational things like, I mean, I love Patrick off the bench. Siakam is getting dusted. (laughs) Patrick Ronan Stewart Stewart off the bench bench for the Raptors. Yeah, Solid Um, pick man. Just, Just always setting picks. (laughs) <laughs> just getting crushed on every pick i'm yeah. in so much pain <laughs> um yeah so I, I think the power forward spot is still a debate but i mean sullinger also maybe comes back and helps that out so i think i think the main issue and it's i guess a good problem to have is that our at some point the roster is going to have to shrink a bit right like so, not not physically kick people off the team but just and you can't you, play everyone do you think like sometime as in like trade deadline we should like messiah should be acting towards kind of like i you think know, like I, Tri- I trimming hate the, our, or, or like making our roster more elite and less like deep. Yeah, I mean, I, I I hate the idea of losing anyone, but at the same time, like sometimes these are assets that you have and like you can do things with them, like trade for them if something opens up. I don't think we have to make a move, but I think 
you know, I, the popular one is is Jonas and Jonas and stuff for Boogie, and I'm like, we should trade you know? Jonas for Michael Kidd, girl Chris. Oh, that'd be interesting. Just got like a monster <laughs> defender who can actually stop LeBron. Wait, but then, Jonas is redundant now. I mean, maybe not, but you Bebe, know what? Bebe, Bebe and we, Turtle, man. We, well, and I, I we should like, talk Jonas for sure. Yeah, because like, I, I feel like Jonas is great, but we're not we're not using him for what he's good at, I don't think. Like, to to the maximum of right, what he's good at. Right, yeah. So so do you think like the like how Jonas is playing ties into any of our rotation stuff, Katie? Do you think like he's like a problem or it's like he's just like he's just insurance. redundant. Like it's true. Like yeah. he's yeah. not he's not he's not taking anything away. But I don't think like you could you could easily I think have somebody else there. Like doing yeah. what he's doing. He's like a young yeah. he's like one of those young fives that this year for some reason like they're all going to the bench, you know? Like Al Jefferson. Right. And uh, Roy Hibbert's a bad example. But you yeah. know, like all of these like no defense centers. Well, it's it, it's these big guys who can't really guard like the pick and roll too yeah, well or, or run out well to the three point line. And for whatever reason, Marcus Soul is just like so smart that he can do it. I but mo- so love Marcus Soul. How does DeRozan so not have a three point shot in Marcus Soul? <laughs> <laughs> How does he do that? Oh, and, Mar- Lopez yeah, has and Marcus Lopez. Soul, Marcus Soul like didn't just add a three point shot. He's just like flaming from yes. three. Yeah, yeah, like top five. He's shooter. hilariously like those like, him and his like, Powell and Marcus so cerebral and amazing. But... How did the youngest Gasol never make it into the league? What did what did he do wrong? I think he's probably just like an all star accountant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on fire like, yeah, just, so like <laughs> everything he does is like just, just like draining hot. ledgers <laughs> yeah. yeah um <laughs> yeah, he so, couldn't balance a ledger last year he added the skill <laughs> he added the skill okay my my like my major rotation thing and it's not my original idea but i just really feel like starting patterson would solve so much especially with like with Jonas. like i think him playing next to siakam just doesn't stand a chance. Like Siakam is fast, he's athletic, but he's so lost. Like in that Cleveland game, Siakam just was getting burned and confused. Like especially in that first quarter when you play a team that like like off the bat they're running their sets and everyone's just like clicking or they have a player like Kyrie or whatever. It just like you're you're totally exposed if you have a rookie or or someone who's like someone like Siakam who I think is having a wicked season. But I don't know. I, I feel like if you threw Patterson in there, he'd cover up for a lot of Jonas's like speed issues. And like I Patterson's think, just an excellent help I, defender. I think like this. I love that Casey's starting Siakam because it's like I feel like every previous season, Dwayne Casey's problem, at least as I've perceived it, is just he only thinks short term. Yeah. And so Jonas doesn't give enough, get enough minutes. Rookies right. don't get any minutes. Powell gets benched when he should be playing. It's like Siakam right now is not who Siakam will be at the end of the year. Right. And, I, and then we can always start Patterson in the playoffs. But, like, if he's going to, like, but push Siakam to get better in the over the course of the regular season, that rules to that, me. That is the counterpoint that I think makes the most, like, like, like every time I, I'm thinking, trying to think this out, which is, like, you know, <laughs> 23 hours of the day. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, like, yeah, like, I think for us to develop Siakam – as a long-term thing, and if we consider him, you know, like our four of the future, I just don't think that's enough to like write off someone like Jonas when he would play better mm. with Patterson. Want to write off his haircut? Yeah, yeah. No, you, we got okay. something about that. Yeah. Should we all just like, quickly write off his haircut? I'll, I'll write it off. Yeah. Jonas, I'll it's be, looking I'll more like Marcus Saul. I like it. It could be good things. Um, I think he was <laughs> trying to channel it, and it just hasn't. Who hasn't knows? Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> it took Marcus his, all a while. I love his haircut so much. It's the little so bangs. Cute. The he cute little bangs. Like a, <laughs> he looks like a giant baby. He should go. He does have baby bangs. He has baby bangs. Got baby bangs and an evil goat. Goatee. Combined, they it's so strange and beautiful right eyes. Yeah, <laughs> just beautiful. Eyes. Gorgeous Stringy, man. Evil goatee. He should be like. He should be like B four four. Oh, <laughs> like have that. You know that like that gelled, like really spiky, yeah, delicious looking. You know what I mean? Like, you want delicious. him to look more delicious. <laughs> I, want, I want my Jonas delicious hair. You know what I mean? Cool who, who tattoo the, of a rosary. Who were the stuff. basketball players back in the nineties who had that? Like the frosted tips, sort of spiky look. I know there was a couple. I feel like Kyle Korver had it at some point. No, he always said no. Like he, it, was, it was never spiky. It was always actual bangs. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, he looked like uh, I know my Korver hair. Yeah, <laughs> um, there was someone weird, someone like a Doug Christie, not Doug Christie, but someone you would know. I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Well, uh, he was on the Cavs, but it's like some guy like Upo Leonard. Like it's like some guy <laughs> like that. <laughs> Upo 
Upo Leonard. <laughs> okay, you I'm going to Google. That. Actually, Upo sorry, Leonard. Matt, Matt, can you Google Upo, Upo Leonard to make sure he's real? U-P-P-O, um, I'm going to guess. Um, okay, wait, you also <laughs> announced him like David Letterman. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, wait. So, just, just half assly. Yeah. So, Pat, wait, uh, why don't you weigh in on this? Um, do you think there's any rotation problems? Even if it's like not what we were just talking about. It could be Norm. Could, anything. I just find that all of our bigs besides Jonas seem a little weak. Like, they don't take up the floor as much as Jonas does to get rebounds and actually be a presence on defense. Like, with Patrick, he's not in there grabbing rebounds. He's just getting them. You know, they're just, like, out there and he's, and, and, yeah. and he's taking them. Which is what I hopefully wish, wish that uh, Jared does. Yeah, I mean, that is his... One thing he's elite exactly. at, right? Yeah, yeah. but I he's kind of slow too, though. I think. I know, yeah, it's but, like, be, but he it, gets those boards. Yeah, if if we play him and Jonas at the same time, it's gonna be a slow front court. Yeah, that's. We'll see how that works. Because Jared's more of a center, isn't he? I think so. In he's, this well, league, he's very yeah. plodding. I think he's he's like a very he does have a mid range game. Like though, Jonas, he's like a great screen setter, great rebounder, but like big yeah, body, pretty big body, big butt. Got a good butt game. Yeah, <laughs> big butt. I just find that there isn't a lot of actual power with any of our bigs because they're all too young or too slim. You know, like there's no Biombo who is a presence. Doesn't Siakam look like he could get there though? Yeah, but he's still a baby. Like yeah, that's the thing. Doesn't yeah. he look like a Speaking strong of, baby? It's weird to talk about a man like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just like insisting very, that a man is a baby. Grow up. <laughs> but, yeah. but like, I mean, like I'm twice the size of everyone on that team, so I'm free to do it. Yes, yeah. that's true. You're a weird looking man, Pat. Yeah. yeah. You are holding two microphones just to <laughs> encompass all your vocal cords. You're big. I was I had that conversation yesterday actually with how like big Dwight Howard is. Like when you see him in person, his shoulders and biceps are like two yeah. extra heads on his body. <laughs> he has like they ball. might be. How many like of us feel ball. comfortable making fun of him when he is the most he's the probably the strongest person in the world. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I feel from, totally... from afar I feel great. Yeah, from very yeah, far from away. Yeah, behind but, a because he could also and, yeah. yeah, you could catch me, it'd be scary. I have a quick random fact on that. Uh, my friend's dad is literally the second strongest man in the world. So big shout out to Giles Sharp, everybody. Okay. Giles Sharp. Hey, Giles, Giles Sharp. Sharp. Got an air horn there. How did he earn that distinction? Yeah, Giles, if you're listening, he smash is. something for us. Yeah. <laughs> Giles. Oh, I'm so strong. Yeah, this this is Giles just like crushing a bus. <laughs> Giles, I've got a Mack truck with a rope tied to the fender with your name on it, buddy. Um, does he okay. do those? That's how he's that's yeah. how you know. Yeah, he yeah. does those competitions. <laughs> so, so strong. Yeah. yeah, I feel like, you know, for for the most part, like everything's just so good in Raptor Land. Yeah, you, I almost don't want to breathe on it. You know? Yeah, totally. I don't want to invent oh. any controversy. But I was I was at that Cavs game and I was just like, yeah, we're losing. This is a blast. This is very fun. We're fine. so good. We're so um, good. D- okay. Do you think <laughs> it's just hard to beat the Cavs? Yeah, yeah, it's just no, really it's, hard to beat the Cavs. Very LeBron's the Cavs. very <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, do you think this offense that we're this this kind of like streak we're on, or like we're you know we're we're pretty close to being as good as Golden State offensively for this very short period? But do you think it's do you think our offense is like dramatically improved from the already good offense last year? Yes. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, or, the or, in the pudding. Or I should say, or I should say, <laughs> do you think? Look at the damn pudding. <laughs> okay, whoa. I'm sick that's... and tired of this podcast not looking at the goddamn pudding. This proof's right in there. Look that's, at the pudding. It's a lot of loose pudding on the carpet. <laughs> um, also, please clean up. <laughs> yeah. No, but okay, do, do, you, do you think, I guess, can we keep this offense? Like, are we going to blow teams all year? Or is it? Are we going to hit a couple ruts? Yeah, we always hit ruts. We yeah. always hit the like right after the like around the All Star game. Yeah, right, um, right when the playoffs like, start. Super tired <laughs> when it's we, important. <laughs> we also still play to the team that we're playing. Like we're getting better at not doing that. Right. But like, I don't know. I was at like the Nuggets game this year, and we almost like the Oakland that over. one too. Yeah, we I almost fucking lost to the Nuggets. I went to the yeah. Sacramento Kings game where we lost. Yeah, Two. it was terrible. Which yeah. one? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. And, and that's insane that the Raptors have lost to the Kings, Golden State, the Clippers, the Cavs, and no one else. That's, that's it? That's yeah. it. Seven losses. The, two the of, the, two of them to the Kings. And then, and then you make excuses where you're like, well, they got Boogie. But it's like, no other team has a problem with that. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah and, <laughs> have you seen their record? Yeah. It's not great. Very terrible. I think we just get lazy sometimes, too. Yeah. 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 
but that's what happens. It's like 82 games in a season, right? Like, I don't mean like tired, lazy. I mean like within the actual game. Like focus. They kind of, like, they'll fall no, off. Like, like, that's what I mean. The refs you know? always have the like fall off like right after the second mm-hmm. into the third. And then yeah. you feel yeah. like something goes through them. They're like, oh, shit, we could lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah We better totally. pick it up. Yeah. But sometimes it's, it's just yeah. too late. And that's what happened in the playoffs. It's, it's usually like, like Lowry. <laughs> Lowry will cut, will hit some like, big threes or have an and one. And they'll be like, oh, shit. We're not going to lose tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, we, Terrence is not playing like Terrence Ross. So either he's totally turned a corner or he'll regress, which I hope does not happen. Jinx right. it. Mm. Jinx, jinx it, it again. Jinx it again. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe you reversed the, the first jinx. I reversed, though, yeah, so second that's, jinx. Yeah. That's okay. And Patterson seems to have like shaken off a little bit of his whatever demon was around. So that bodes yeah. well. Yeah. Kyle's shooting like there's a lot of well. Jinx, Kyle can't. There's a lot of jinxing happening. Nuts. So maybe Matt, just keep a tab on all the jinxes and see. Like we'll just <laughs> yeah. do one last jinx before the podcast is up to make sure we're. Yeah, locked. it's well, like he loves me, he loves me not. As long as it's an even, not an odd number. Yeah, yeah exactly. Denver well, five. I mean, I've been Mister All, all like all these Raptors ain't gonna win it. So maybe I counteract all of your happy faces. There you go. Whoa, <laughs> that's thanks, right. Grinchy. No problem. Pat, bring the. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wait. Was that, that just inside my that soul? Was, <laughs> that was my mom remembering that yeah. she forgot me, guys. Yeah, that was. Who oh, forgot dark. you where? Um, oh, okay. I didn't get the reference. I thought it was just a random woman <laughs> yelling. Yeah. I was like, wait, did we learn something? Uh, it's so weird just, to do this without wearing my headphones. I have no <laughs> idea what you guys are reacting to. Mark, Mark you, you, you have, have, you have them right there. <laughs> yeah. It's um, free and easy. It's like an improv game. And I have to guess who's the guests at my party. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's basically Matt just pressing a, a, a sound bite of someone from Home Alone shouting Kevin. Yeah, someone? <laughs> Don't they? Every character has a time when they're like, Kevin! Nope. <laughs> they a character. <laughs> when he's, when One in two movies. When he's Slaps his face. When he slaps his face and looks in the mirror, he shouts his own yeah. name. Kevin. He shouts his Doesn't own he? name. And right, and right, at, right at the end. I've seen the movie so many times. Right at the yeah, end when the, when the wet bandits catch him and they put him on the wall and they're like, they both in unison. Yeah. Kevin. Yeah, they yeah. Pull yeah when Joe Pesci's going to bite off his finger, he's yeah. like, Kevin. Also, just a <laughs> horrific thing to have in a kid's movie. <laughs> I'm going to bite off your fingers? Yeah. Good we Lord. could handle it. Yeah, Joe Pesci. Back Pe- then, we could handle it. Oh, That's yeah. true. oh don't. Oh, Oh, don't get them started. Millennials! Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Don't stop, okay? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, let's, should, should we move on to our yeah, next I segment? Think, I think we got, we got, we got room for Why the next you... segment. This is us. Just having uh, a quick set changeover. <laughs> yeah. Quick jumping jack. Mm. I got to say, though, aren't you guys... <laughs> I'm so stoked for more Norman Powell. I'm so stoked for Bebe. Oh, I'm so stoked for Siakam. And I'm even a little stoked for Pirtle. Yeah. Oh, stoked yeah. For all. Of course. That Pirtle's dunk? great. My God. Pirtle's a mystery to me still. Yeah. yeah. Also, I, don't, I don't know if I trust him. I'm stoked for the mystery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, I know someone who's dating Pirtle. Siakam. Pirtle? Siakam. Siakam. Really? Yeah. Yes. Who's dating Siakam? Some girl. All right. <laughs> Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Sounds real. Yeah, what does yeah. she say about him? Nice yeah, well, yeah. that's... Uh, <laughs> um, she, she's very attractive, so she's like, he's a rookie, so I can probably convince him to wife it down, Whoa. so I can get some money off this. Oh, that's weird. Really? <laughs> you, can, that, you just said that onto a podcast. Yeah. Did you say her name? You just well, said it. Is that, is that how she would phrase it? Yeah. Wow. But was she being a bit tongue-in-cheeky? Oh God! Oh no, Pascal! Oh, <laughs> Be careful! Pascal. I don't know anything about him. But Getting I think heavy he's over here yeah. at Dunk's Pod, guys. Hey, she's a perfect woman. So, <laughs> salut! Great. She, I hope she's a nice one. Yeah, I yeah. hope. And I, I hope, hope everyone's happy. I hope everyone's that's, nice that's and happy. Pirtle went to a second city show. Aww. I heard. That. I heard he was too nervous to uh, to go backstage. <laughs> that's and meet so the cast. cute. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. like him, um, guys. What makes a leader? On our next segment. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. That was beautiful. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about team leaders and yes. who our favorite team leaders are, why we think they're team leaders, and just all, all things leadery, I think. Um, rules are you can only pick one per team, and, uh, and that's pretty much the only rule, I guess. Yep. Just cool. to justify it however you want. Um, we as a group... Must settle on one per team. Um, no, no, we're we're all gonna pick our <laughs> our top five favorite. Oh, leaders. top five each. Oh, That's I right. don't have five for sure. Me, Let's well, go. Yeah, I think you can make it up. Yeah, okay. I think you can make it okay. up too. Um, you know what, Freddie? 
Why don't you, uh... Should I lead? Why don't you self... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Here I am. I did it. I did it. It's fun that you're the leader, even though Patrick's 40 stories high. <laughs> I know. Wow. 40 stories. Um, 40 stories by Patrick Ronan Stewart. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so my number five leader is Jameer Nelson. Nice. He was on my list. <laughs> yeah, really? He was on my okay, list. Okay, check it out. Denver's having a rebuilding year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's one of those those veterans. Moody A is really, really struggling. Mm-hmm. Jameer Nelson's kind of just like keeping them afloat. They're probably not gonna, even going to make the playoffs. No. But his veteran leadership is going to help their young stars of the future. Yeah, you got to like those guys who walk that line between being the most important player on a team and could get cut next Yes, week. yes. <laughs> because we're building Yeah, totally. The he's like totally. by far the worst basketball player on my list. But he's a pretty good leader. And I think he's uh, doing a good job for the Nuggets. That's a weird team. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that, Jameer Nelson. So that's my number five, Jameer Nelson. Um, Katie, who's your... I, didn't, I, didn't. I, I also didn't organize <laughs> mine hierarchy. It's not organized. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have every single team. Whoa, and then the person Katie's I saving the podcast. <laughs> oh. But I won't read the whole no, thing. Well, we can all just do it our own way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? Uh, do it your own way. Be your gonna, own leader. I'm going to do it my own way. Do it. I'm just <laughs> going to read from this list. Just Great. do it. Okay. <laughs> One per team, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Okay. Uh, raps. I'll start mm-hmm. with the raps. I mm-hmm. think it's DeRozan. My heart, it's Kyle, think, but it's DeRozan. Yeah, I, I think, think it's I shifted. I think it's shifted this year. Mm-hmm. Cleveland, we got Braun. Mm-hmm. Detroit, my man Andre Drummond. Mm-hmm. Charlotte, I went a little rogue and I said Psycho T. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, we got de- we got to we got to delve into yeah. 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 Let's just go a bit deeper. Is Let's. that because like he just you feel like on the plane he's like 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 eating people's food or like? <laughs> what, 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 what? He's just doing him. Yeah, like, I think he's, he's I think he's like, doing a lot of staring at people. Yeah. Uh, Has he played a minute this year? No. no. <laughs> so like. No, uh, so maybe, also maybe, by maybe, maybe he's like Batum. The T Kemba, stands for thought. Uh, Marvin, <laughs> shave my sideburns. <laughs> Make them uneven. <laughs> yeah, he's making them all uneven. And I feel like he's a leader, like the dad from the Bernstein Bears is. Okay, being like don't, don't do what I elaborate. do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get. It. What on earth do you mean by that? Sorry. About like, <laughs> don't do what I do. Right. I'm not doing it right. I'm the comic relief here. Exactly. Oh, learn, do as I say, not as I do. Example. Yes. Yeah. Um, also, Simpsons do you think he only there. does Eminem at karaoke? I think yes. Uh, I like <laughs> oh yeah. But it's like just really damn. good. It's really well rehearsed. Yeah, he damn. just does Kim. Yeah. He does all the Kim oh, no. songs. <laughs> that's every song. Oh my god, no. <laughs> yeah, that's every song. I should okay. narrow it down. <laughs> um, um Okay, let's let's keep this list going. All right. Uh for Philly, I have Embiid. Yeah, nice. I agree. I like that guy too. Weird one, but nice. yeah. Every other game they fall apart. Yeah, it's that's true. almost that song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I put Dwight Howard for Atlanta. I don't, I like him. Well, okay. I, I was uh, I, if I can interject with my Atlanta here. I had Paul Millsap until he got hurt, which mm. then became Dwight Howard, which is why they went down the shitter. Mm. <laughs> that's how I, got, I, feel I got about Millsap Dwight. for that one still. Yeah, Millsap but, is. Uh, I think he's the most like rock steady guy in the league. Like yeah. he's just consistently what he is with no real ego to him. Or and maybe I think even he like provides that. Maybe even Baysmore. You know? That's Schroeder's team, whether you like it or not. You yeah, think? and I do not like it. Yeah. but that is Schroeder's team. But well, I had the shrewd dude for the rookies, but oh, then we yeah. didn't. Oh. I didn't want to okay. break it down further. Yeah, yeah. Our, oh, rookie wow. leaders. Yeah. Rookie leaders. The shrewd dude also <laughs> rude, fantastic. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Rude, shrewd dude could stick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it won't. Yeah, that, <laughs> it might. That could nope. stick. Um, Imagine Jack saying that. <laughs> uh, next, I have. Mellow, mellow dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. The one thing I like about him. Uh, He's the dad. The Wizards, yeah. I think it's Wall. Yeah, yeah. it's feels, Wall, but feels it's a kind of... bit like Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. yeah, it's also no one. It's yeah. no one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Garbage. It was a stretch. <laughs> yeah. The Wizards is a bit of a the void. Man, I hate that team. I like Gortat. Yeah. Yeah. The only player I like on that team. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, but he doesn't even like Gortat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Actually, he's probably a monster. Anthony Davis's eyebrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boston, beautiful Amir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm, uh, Orlando, I think Ibaka. San Antonio, yeah. Popovich. <laughs> yeah. Uh, OKC, Westbrook, Miami, no one. Houston, Harden. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pacers, Teague. Not, not PG? Maybe PG. 
I, yeah, yeah that's what that's one of those now. teams where right. <laughs> I, I I would, I would say PG, but they're like they're 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 figuring it out still. Yeah, they don't really yeah the Pacers are a weirdo team. Yeah, it's maybe a bit leaderless. What are they up to? I read that Monte Ellis is a good locker room presence. That yeah. really caught me off guard. Okay. He's like, like, guys. Like, I like, to- that's like one of the factors in getting rid of him, which they clearly should try to do. Yeah. It's like, ooh, the guys in the locker room really like his voice. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. Monte Ellis? He's a beautiful singer. I know. I always hear that about, about <laughs> Lou Williams, too. And I'm like, really? Well, Lou, Lou yeah. Williams is my Lakers leader. Yeah? I think oh. I think he's just, when your culture goes from Kobe to Lou Will, you're just like a much more cool, fun, happy place. Yeah, man. Mine's Randall, I mean, but okay. Well, let, let's keep yeah. going with your list and okay. see where the discrepancies are. <laughs> uh, Bucks Thon. Whoa! Uh, what? <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> that's the, stop the that's show. That's better than Psycho <laughs> T. Stop recording. He's so a leader in that they want to all be his size. Maybe <laughs> no, he's the leader, and he's like, listen, I won't stop growing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. In, in height and passports. Thon. <laughs> Thon. Thon. No, <laughs> you can't fit on the plane anymore, Thon. Um, no, I see that though. In, in that, like, Jonas is like, I'm so long and agile, and Thon's like, oh yeah. I think that's like, <laughs> okay. Wait, we all just said jokes. What is your actual what is thon the scene reason? Oh, it's a joke. I just, oh, okay, I great, really great. love him. <laughs> um, that's amazing. Uh, uh, Minnesota. I don't know. That's tough. I put, I have Tate Shaw Prince. <laughs> that was, that's from my diary. Yeah, that basically. that one is that one from your funny, diary, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Golden State, boring. Clippers, Good pick. Paul Pierce, Lakers. I have Ingram. Wow, you got Pierce old. is the Clippers leader over Chris P. Chris, Chris Paul. I mean, he's yeah, screaming, CP. whining, Chris Paul. Yeah, yeah that's I, the thing. I, yeah, for me, it's Chris Paul, not but me. I'm not. I don't, <laughs> don't, I don't like, like him. <laughs> Chris Chris Paul is like shouting, demanding respect, and Paul Pierce is like, I have your respect. I already know that. Right. I feel like that's oh. a, maybe that kind of thing. Paul Pierce is like, I'm good at Twitter, but he's, Blake's he's like, in me such too. a good mood now. Paul yes. Pierce, he just yeah. like he doesn't yeah. care. Like he's just having a good time, yeah. whatever he does. Because well, he wanted to retire, but he realized he wouldn't make uh, yeah. the uh, the first ballot if he retired last season. So now he's just kind of hanging out oh. with his buddy Ooh. Doc. Oh, Ooh, some Hall of Fame uh, because of the Kobe's info. and the Tims of the world. Yep, and yeah. the, and and also KG. So he's like, all right, eh, I'm just gonna hang out with my Ooh, best right. friend Doc Paul. Rivers. That's also, a good conspiracy. another million yeah, dollars are like. fun. That's okay. just straight up true. Is, has he said that? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? We hang out. <laughs> <laughs> you and Paul Pierce. You and Paul Pierce. <laughs> what He's a sight. One of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is, huh? Patrick's, Patrick's full of surprises. He's way bigger than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> He's got pudding. <laughs> okay, wait. So wait, wait, all the facts he said. Where where are we on this list? I have two more. Two right. more. Sacramento, who cares but Boogie? Yeah. yeah probably. And I for, I forgot about Memphis. Like I just yeah. blanked on the on who? Okay. Because oh, Memphis, 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 that's Memphis. my number yeah, one leader. Exactly. Marcus Ol. Marcus Ol. Like oh, that's out, a good out of nowhere. Marcus Ol, he he has them all. He keeps everyone like chill. Focused yeah. on defense, and even when they're like 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 better players, like or I don't know if he's a better player, but when Conley's injured or whoever's mm-hmm. injured, Mark keeps that team keeps competitive. It. Here's my number one leader. Here's my uh, here's my, uh, <laughs> my number one leader. <laughs> my number one guy. Number one leader. I think that Gasol's the on court leader, and I think the off court leader is Randolph, and then I think Conley Ooh. is also the off court leader. Oh, he's uh, like, like yeah. I think Gasol off the court is silent. And, yeah, you're probably and, right. And Tony Allen's like, I dribble a medicine ball. So oh, I like, fucking that's forgot about That's a whole Allen. different type of He's leadership. the other on-court leader. He's the defensive on-court leader. Yeah. That team um, is all leaders. It's nuts. Yeah, It's got Vince. They're all leaders. They're all leaders. Yeah. <laughs> they're all leaders. Hey, Seinfeld. They're leaders. <laughs> Uh, we, I, did I tell please, you the, more Seinfeld <laughs> screams on the podcast. Did I tell you I saw, I saw them in a hotel in uh, Los Angeles after Se- they played Seinfeld? their Clippers game? All the All Seinfelds. Seinfelds. <laughs> and they look great. Yeah. Uh, one of them is the B-movie one. And the, rest, <laughs> the rest are just him at different ages. Um, I saw the Grizzlies coming into the hotel right next to Were Staples Center. Were they all Center. like sore? I imagine that they're always like, oh. Yeah, there's a lot of living. Yeah. <laughs> like, ow. It was back when they had that one Iranian guy. Was he Iranian? Um, um, yes. I met Hadadi. Yeah, Hadadi. Yeah. So he was the first one who came in, and I was like, that's Hadadi. Nice. <laughs> like, I didn't know his name, but I was like, I think that's a big And he's like, that's Mark. The crowd Little. That I knew. Mark Little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, but then they all came in in like 
uh, order of least to most famous, I guess, because they came in. Like, That's the, how they hang out with each That's other. That's convenient. Because yeah. <laughs> I think it was like who was who was held back to do interviews and who was yeah. definitely not yeah. Haddad. Right. Not a lot of interest. <laughs> but anyway, so Randolph and Connolly came in just looking like cool as shit. Like they yeah. just controlled the universe. And then Gasol came in. He was the biggest goofball I'd ever seen. Oh, he really? was like hanging out with two of the trainers. And then they took pictures of him in an oversized uh, coffee cup outside of the espresso place. And nice. oh my god, I love, I love him. Yeah. yeah, this is great. But yeah. I don't feel like he's commanding a ton of respect. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I, maybe it's just an on-court thing I see. Did but, you uh, see that? Uh, like, s- It got slowed down. It was a gift being passed around or like a little short video, I guess, of uh, Randolph on the first game back from his like mom's funeral stuff. No, anyway, I didn't see that. It's just this moment where like Randolph Beautiful. like pulls a ball out of a defender's arms and then kind of like screams to the crowd and then... Uh, and then, um, like, Andrew Harrison comes up and puts his arm around him, and then Gasol comes up and hugs them both, and it's all in slow mo. Wow. And it just, like, it's this hug that turns into Randolph and Gasol, like, laughing uh, into each other's mouths. Like, See, Gasol completed oh, the you're hug. Right, you're right. He is a leader. That, okay? is, that is leadership, Gasol. Yeah. yeah. Well, and also, every everything you could ever have asked him to learn how to do, he's like, yeah, I'm great at it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, he's is, insane. Nice. Um Except for swimming. Have you ever seen that photo of him on vacation? No. Oh, he can't he swim? Swimmer? Oh, now he's no. not a leader. Him and Mark are on the back of a yacht <laughs> with, in their swim trunks, and they have their off-season bods, so they've got a bit of like a party Ooh. bod going yeah. on. Yeah. And they both have socks on. And That's there's weird. like all these babes in bikinis on the boat, and they're just like flopped on the back of it with like full tube socks on, wet from the water, from the ocean. But maybe that's mm-hmm. like they just Hold party so hard on. they leave the socks on? No, it's on? sloppy yeah. as hell. That's weird, yeah. yeah. <laughs> socks is, uh, what, 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 do you, what do you want with the socks? If you look close at that photo, you can see the third that's brother close. doing some great accounting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, how fast can I get this joke out before yeah. it's <laughs> literally paying so for bad. the boat? <laughs> you were as you're doing that. <laughs> I was like, how do I get there? <laughs> so obvious where it's going. Yeah. Um, we all love Marcus Gasol. Yeah, he's Except a good boy. on a boat. Is there any, <laughs> any, any leaders we're missing from anyone? I mean, yes. Oh, yeah. Pat, you got some? Um, I think my, uh, my pick is Boris Dio. Mm. Okay. That for guy Utah. is, if I could pick any NBA career, it would be his. He seems to have such a fun life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, after he's so like after he retires from the NBA, he's gonna live on a boat. Yeah. Great. Yeah, he was on uh, um, yep. for, from that low post. Yep. Yeah, uh, there's all there's a bunch of weird facts about him. He like I love that guy. He he has an espresso machine in his locker. Mm-hmm. Right. And he like and and, and often is like it can't be accounted for in warm ups. Can't because be they're like, well, where's so. Boris? And they're like, oh, he's Drink chugging coffee. coffee. Yeah. No, and he phrased it as, I chug coffee, then go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh. And then I'm ready. And I'm like, that is amazing. Because other guys are like getting stretched. And he's just like in, <laughs> in the locker room <laughs> chugging coffee. Like if I could pick anyone at his level to be on a team, it would just be him. Because he's been on the worst team in NBA history. And also yeah. the best team in uh, uh, like in NBA or history. one of, yeah. Yeah, yeah one of, yeah. Um, so yeah. I think he's a real strong leader to to be like, oh, this is how you be a veteran in the league, yeah, yeah. which is he's, what you should he's be. A consummate he's, a, professional. he's a great yeah. bet leader. Mm-hmm. We're um, missing the number one leader in the league, or maybe Katie said, Bob it. Wait, can I just say one thing about Boris? Yes, um, you can say four, can say, and no oh less. my god, <laughs> count them down. Number four, four. Things about Boris, he owns Huskies. Number three. Uh, he moves real slow, but he's okay with it. <laughs> number two. He doesn't watch League Pass. And number one. Oh, shit. What was the... What was the <laughs> and that's... Oh, no, yes, yes, yes. He was, he was the... Only, okay. I just want to say he's the only person I've ever heard say that he was really excited about moving to Utah. <laughs> that's what he said to Zach Lowe. He's like, are you enjoying Utah? He's like, I was so excited about moving to Utah. It's one of the places I wanted to go. <laughs> Why? Because like, of the what, He said one of the states. It's very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah. I mean. Okay. Yeah. No, that's, 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 that's me. That's my four things about Boris. Mark, <laughs> please. Have we mentioned Dame Lillard? No. no He's not. the fucking oh, king Dollar leader Dame. of the world. Dame Dalla can rap. He can <laughs> yeah. shoot. He calls his, t- like, he, when all of his t- best teammates got traded, he just was like, good. And yeah. sent out text messages to everyone else. Let's get in the gym. He, like, won't let anyone get down. He's yeah. Mr. Pick You Up and like convince you that you've got talent. He honestly sounds like the perfect That's dad. Like, like he, he, he won't you let, have talent. He, he won't <laughs> let anyone. In a room. 
You won't let anyone get down like dance wise, like yeah, they can't. Like, we want to get down no tonight. He's like, Portland. sorry, fellas. He's like yeah. the mayor of Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, he's, he's like a beautiful soul, and he's so good, super yeah. clutch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like Randolph and yeah. Gasol and Conley crammed into one. Um, he's got that fire. He's got that ability. He's got that off-court dad presence. Mm-hmm. I think it's completely uh, like the number one is LeBron James, right? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, he's yes. number one. No, I don't know why the it. fuck I wasted my time on Damian Miller. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> it's LeBron for like, sure. It's LeBron. Like, fuck you, Mark. It's you insane. J.R. Smith into uh, a... How he made Cleveland good by first time in Cleveland. He's like, okay, there's no way I'm going to win a championship because they have no good players. Mm-hmm. Left for enough time for... For them to get good draft picks and then came back and and didn't, and then won it by him hiring anyone he wanted. That's insane. That's never been done before. Yeah. That's He's true. the yeah. only person who's like, I'm good at playing basketball and being the GM. Yeah. 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 And kind of the coach. Although I think Tyron Lue's not yeah, really getting Lou enough credit. Seems to have because they're playing great. And stride, to win yeah. in the playoffs, you need to get He coach. looks less clueless this year. Totally. Whenever yeah. he gets panned to, he's not like yeah, yeah. Making that but like, like bugged out. Like, oh, he's, he's, I mean, that is not, also just his face, Katie. <laughs> he's, he's not lying on the ground, just pretending Iverson's stepping over. <laughs> just every time, like during a timeout, he just lies at that part of the court, and he just imagines Iverson stepping Are over. We That's how the play, ghost coach? of Iverson gives him advice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, guys, I got an idea. Get Iverson here. He'll hit a three over me. I'll lay down. <laughs> and he'll say some words that'll inspire me. Um, I think we covered it for leaders. Yeah, I, I do. I do want to give oh, a, a quick shout to uh, Giles uh, Sharp. Porzingis. To old Giles Sharp. No, uh, Dwayne Wade. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, he like, yeah. he carried so many sad sack Miami teams to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, he left. I mean, obviously, it's it's LeBron leaving as well. But when he left Miami, that's like, there's like a smoking crater there now. There's there's nothing Yeah, what's going to happen to Miami? They, like, gonna rebuild. They're going to have to go in the tank, yeah. but Ra- Pat Riley does not like that idea. They need mm-hmm. Will Smith to do another song yeah. about it. Yes. Yeah. yes. Get it going. You I was just I mean? talking about this yesterday. When is Will Smith going to make another Just song? like show how beautiful it is and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Everyone knows already. He's, yeah. His work is done. Yeah. He's, he's ascended done. back to we his need a, We need a new guy to be like DJ honestly, though, Welcome to Miami. Like, yeah. is, trust me, it's really nice. Um, and yeah, Chicago's doing a lot better than yeah. I ever thought they would. That's and a really stupid team. Chicago. Oh yeah. I mean, right. sh- Chicago. I, I forget who made the the quip now, but Chicago looks like a, a team that was. Uh, Auto drafted in fantasy, <laughs> and they're somehow good. Yeah, I don't know how. Like everyone was wrong about Chicago. I, was I thought they were going to be terrible. I thought they were going to be, be like, so so not bad in the playoffs. Bad. Kind of the same with the Knicks too. I, yeah, because eh, give, that, give that one time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, let that Por- one simmer. Porzingis is great, but yeah, that's gonna. <laughs> but I mean, you know, Rose yeah. has been playing pretty good. Yeah, um, <laughs> good. Okay, leaders, <laughs> leaders. We covered it. We got the leaders. Got let's the leaders uh, let's out. roll on to your questions, Matt. I'm so excited. Just a, just a few quick questions. Oh, man. Matt's wearing a hat that's okay. a giant question mark right now. <laughs> oh, Stressed wow. as the Riddler. It's yeah. a Mitchell and Ness. What is the... <laughs> <laughs> um, before I get into it, I will say that I recently went to a Raptors game. My first in 11 years. Whoa. Whoa. 11 years. Wow. He's wearing a pretty sick Huskies jersey right now, everyone. I am. I did. I bought... Uh, I've been meaning to buy one, and I'm not a big fan of light-colored home jerseys, so... Yeah. Want something a little slashy. <laughs> Lots of backstory on this question. What is happening over Lots here? Lots of just finger licking. And... Anyways, okay. <laughs> Matt's making a stew while he asks this question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so since the last game I went to was in 2006. Yeah. Do you guys remember that time yep. as Raptor fans? Yeah, was that I was not. I was not. Pre, pre, pre Barnyon. No, pre Barnyon. Pre Barnyon. Question number one Do we remember 2006? Do you guys yep. remember 2006? <laughs> no. Not well. No. No. No, <laughs> no, yeah. no I do. I do. For well, sure. it's, a bit, it's a hot meme right now, right? Show me what you yeah. look like in 06. Oh, and yeah. 16. Is that right? That's yeah. it's a thing. It's an Insta. Yeah, that's is that a, a hot thing. meme? <laughs> yeah, it's a hot meme right nice. now. <laughs> it's more a challenge than a meme, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a little bit of trivia regarding that season to see what you true Raptors Boy. fans remember. The oh dark my. times. Oh, I, I clearly remember choice. nothing. I thought there were... All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited Ooh. to see what I can do here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready? Get your thinking caps on. Okay. <laughs> Thud. Okay. Right. 
Is it like we whoever answers first? Are you going to prompt us? Um, I will go around with a finger. All right. Okay, so <laughs> the Raptors record that year. Was it? <gasps> oh. 4735 3349 2755 Pat that is 27 Freddie 06 yep 47 okay I would like to answer your question with a question. Yeah. <laughs> Who was on that team? No. I don't would remember you, no, but no, you no, like, you can't tell him. Can you tell us I will guy? tell you who's on that team. I can do it. Okay, I you think. can tell him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love this team. This is like my first team I fell in love with. It's a ridiculous team. You want to you hear this team? This is post. This is clearly post Vince. This is a Bosch team. Matt Bonner. Matt, we got. <laughs> this is pre. Okay. This Chris Bosch. We got some Bosch. Charlie Villanueva. Okay, I Charlie. take my V. I love this team. Mo Pete. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mike James. Woo, oh, I that year. That was only one year, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That guy was a piece of shit. <laughs> Jalen Rose for yeah. a bit. Yes. Okay. Off the trunk. Pape So? Yeah, pa- Pape So. Pop, pop Sow. Pop Sow? That's how you say it? Yes. Pop yeah. Sow. Okay. Well, they both sound like good real names. <laughs> the, the Williams Brothers. Oh, yeah. Aaron Alvin and Alvin. And Aaron. I don't know no, if they're really brothers. Not, do not brothers. Remember Aaron. Definitely not brothers. <laughs> Anyhow. And uh, how can you forget uh, Lauren Woods? Yeah. You can't. <laughs> if if you you've can. never heard the name. <laughs> He's unforgettable. <laughs> Didn't we also have um, the uh, the big man from Brazil, the man who saved our franchise? O- 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 Araujo? Araujo? Rafa? Yeah. Yes. Rafael. Yes. Uh, yes. Araujo. Also, we Araujo. had New York streetball legend, Rafer Alston. We did. For oh, yes. skip mm-hmm. to my... Skip to my Lou. Lou. Okay. So... You know, because his name, Rafer Alston, <laughs> full of loose. Okay. <laughs> so 47-35? No, I say 33. 33 49 27 55 I know. There you go. Because we got the first 27 overall 27 55 And we grabbed Barnyans. Wow. The answer yep. was in the yeah. question you about did the grab answer. Snag the Barnyans. Okay. Second question. Next question, right. baby. Who was the highest paid player on the Raptors that year? Mm. I will mm. give you Others oh, questions. <laughs> Lamond Murray. <laughs> Alvin Williams. Got to be Jalen, right? Chris Bosch or Jalen Rose? Yeah, gotta be Jalen. Gotta be Jalen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jalen by a huge yeah. shot. Um, Fifteen oh. million six hundred ninety-four thousand. That was my first NBA two K team, and I would always start off by getting him out of there <laughs> and making Joey Graham ninety-nine overall. That's Ours. real. <laughs> nice. Joey Graham yeah. picked ahead of all saw for him. Uh, uh, Iggy. Iggy. Danny Danny Granger. Green. Danny Granger. And Iggy. Not and Hoffa Iggy, right? was Hoffa was. Ahead of Iggy. Yep. Right. Last question. Do you remember reading? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> this one is about the Toronto Raptors records. What is the least amount of wins they've ever had in a season? Hmm. This year was 27. This year was 27. 27 was that year, yeah. That's pretty low. That's pretty low. Do we got options here? Or? Let's get a little. I'm just going to say. I'm just going to take a guess. I'm just gonna sure. I'm just going to say, just... I'm gonna say their lowest win total. Yeah, was eighteen wins. Okay. Eighteen. Oh, that's eighteen. Are you talking about like record setting? Lo- are you talking about lowest ever? Like lowest Raptors, 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 Raptors lowest ever. Raptors lowest ever. I'm going to say eighteen. What wins. era do you think that is? Early, early days. I think that's days? like quite early. I think it's like our third season or something. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm going to say Kev? twenty in like Kay? our second or third season. Katie. Eighteen. 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 Nice. Twenty-three. Team up on that. Yeah. I'll say twenty-three. Twenty-three. 23. 23. Eighteen's the Who lowest record ever. When did they pick Vince? Oh, what okay. what year of the franchise? 2001, Two. right? No, like who shit. was like they had that Damon, Damon first year, and then uh, yeah. were their next. I think it was. Picks I think bad. 98 Camby. or 99 was one. Oh yeah, can be. Um, I don't know at all. <laughs> I was a Vancouver Grizzlies fan. Oh, that's right. I was <laughs> <laughs> not paying attention wow. to this Sorry. team. How dare you? So, uh, what? How many did they win in 06 again? Uh, 27. In, they won 27. Let's say 27. 27. Okay. Well, guess what, guys? It's 18. Kevin. <laughs> Freddie, oh. Katie, <laughs> 16. Oh. Oh. And yeah, by the way, I think Wait. the lowest ever is like 11 or yeah. 10. Oh, jeez. 16. It's, it's, it's 16. Was, that? Was, that a, was that a lockout year, maybe? That was, no, that was before the lockout. That was 97, 98 Holy season. Shit. Who was on the team? Who was on we're still the team? closest. Oh, yeah, we're if still, was yeah. Like John Price Sally right. was on that yeah, team. Yeah, we still kind of win. Yeah, we but if it was Price No, you guys were super close. 
Who um, was on the team? They've <laughs> they've already surpassed that this year. They have 17 wins this year. We did. Oh, it. thank goodness. <laughs> Good. God. Um, who's on that team? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh like my fun. god! <laughs> Phone down. It's been saved. Uh, Damon Studemeyer. Yep. Um. Um, I'm not looking at a list. That's the only person I know. <laughs> <laughs> Was Camby in there by that time? I think so. Sure, well, you know what would have pushed you over the 20-win hump? Blue Edwards and Big Country Reeves. Oh. <laughs> that probably would have pushed you oh, into yeah. having Gary a franchise Trent. still. Oh, yeah, Gary that. Trent. <laughs> you need that. Doug Christie. Marcus Camby. Those are your leaders and categories. Nice. Okay. Fair enough. Well, let's move away from those dark times and on to our final segment, shall we? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, we've got a caller. What the? What the hell? Oh. Hello? Kevin! <laughs> nice, nice. Mom, stop he's, calling the podcast. You, you're not here, but his face really sold that. <laughs> uh. So, okay. <laughs> which, which, which character was yelling Kevin that time? I think that was the, the shovel man. That was, that was his okay, name, right? Okay. Shovel man. Wait. Yeah. Okay. So, which is the first one? Which is the second one? Okay, I'll play the first one. Okay. So that's him yelling into the mirror. Yeah, that's him yelling at yep. himself. Yeah. And the last one's the tarantula. Yeah. The last one is this, yeah the spider yelling Kevin. The last one is the photo of Biff's girlfriend. <laughs> Biff? No. Yeah. Buzz. 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 I always get them confused. Um, He's a Biff. Are we at Proline time? We're at Proline pro pro time. Pro oh time. my God. I've, I've missed a, a couple of these. I think. He has. I gotta, gotta so, catch up can I recap the standings? Yeah. So, just before we recap the standings, yeah. just want to make sure our guests understand how to do this. So, the Proline point spread basically picks a team to favor in a particular game, and we all guess the outcome. So, let's say if it's Milwaukee against Brooklyn tonight. Um, Maybe they favor Brook or uh, Milwaukee by three. And Who would watch that game. I don't know. <laughs> we, Honestly, we gamblers. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe me, but yeah, um, yeah. So, anyways, we're just we're just doing a little bit of gambling. We're just guessing. We have a running tally for the guests. Yep. Kevin, Matt, and me. How yeah, are the guests doing the so guests. far? How are the guests, guests doing so far? Guests are a little bit mixed because they all uh, they all you don't have to collaborate on your guesses, right. but all of your guesses count. Yes. So the guesses have this weird super score, but uh, yeah. but Matt's gonna let us know. Yeah, it's all sorted by win percentage. But uh, Kevin, you are in last right now. Yep. You're Ooh. one in three. You're okay. one in three. Uh, the guests had a huge uh, uprising <laughs> from the last week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> they are at 10 and 8 now. They were at Wow. They're Ooh. doing a lot worse before. Right so 100. 10 and 8, you're in third. Uh Freddie, you are in second. Six and three. That's your record. Oh yeah. And I am in first. Nine and oh. Oh my god. Make no errors. Nine and oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, folks. If wow. you somehow can turn back time, uh bet with Matt if you can. Yeah. Because <laughs> we do bet on the night's games. So yes. there's no way you So there's no way you're hearing this in time. <laughs> yeah. <It's> purely <laughs> but anyways, ideas. Matt's perfect. So I guess just pound him in person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Okay, I'm just All trying right. to bring him up here. You guys, uh, you guys, talk for a sec. All right. Um, so there was a there was a component of it that I think Freddie didn't outline quite as much, which was uh, so if if Milwaukee is favored by three and you pick Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn can still lose by two and you'd be right because Milwaukee has to win by that the margin specified. What happens if? Yeah. So if it's three and they win by three, that's fine. Then that's fine. Yeah, yeah, then Milwaukee. Yeah. There's no like tie version. Milwaukee. Is there like covers. a point five? Edition? There is 0.5, but for the sake of just clarity, I'm just going to round up because that's there's no half points in basketball. So. I bet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there's no half points in basketball. There's no yeah. half points in oh, basketball. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, you know, Kev, we're going to start with you. Oh, my God, okay. Matt, start are you digging. ready on yep. the Excel spreadsheet? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> so, Mini is playing at Chicago. Okay. And Chicago is favored by seven. Okay. Is Chicago going to cover Kevin? No, Minnie's going to bust that spread. Okay. Kevin picks Minnie. Matt? Um, Chicago by seven. I think, yes, they will. Chicago. Okay, Mark. Is Chicago going to cover? Win by seven. I'm going to vote with my heart, my gut, and my best wishes every time. Minnie busts it up. <laughs> Minnie busts it up. Pat? I don't think it'll be seven, but I think Chicago's going to win it by like five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I do that? So, yeah. Well, so, then, so that, that, that means, means you're saying Minnie. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
Pat, Minnesota. Katie. I don't really but understand no. how it works, it's but Chicago. I'll say Chicago. Chicago. Okay. <laughs> so you're saying, so basically Vegas says that Chicago is going to win by seven. Mm. Or so more. So if you think they'll win by seven or more, you say Chicago. I'm Vegas. Okay. You're, 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 <laughs> oh, you're Vegas? You're Vegas. Yeah. Sure, what happens yeah. in Katie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just, <laughs> I didn't want to finish okay. that. So, um, I don't know why I started it. So wait, you said Chicago? Mm-hmm. Okay. I say Minnesota. Okay. Okay. You, you got all those, Matt? Yep. Perfect. All right. Next up, Matt, I'm going to start with you. Golden State is playing in New Orleans, yet they are still favored to win by 11. Do you think Golden State will win by 11 or more? Do you say by 11 or more? Yes. Yes. In New Orleans. Yes, you say Golden State. Yeah. Okay. Mark? By 11? Yes. In New Orleans? In New Orleans. In the Smoothie King Center itself? In the Smoothie King Center itself. (laughs) Golden State will win by 11 in the Smoothie King Center? Are they going to do it? Well, you would think easily. They all win by 45. Okay. (laughs) But (laughs) am I going to vote with my heart my best wishes and my gut? You said you would. I know I said I would. You said you would, It seems impossible. Tis the season. I got to go Golden State. Golden State. I got to use my brain for one. Okay. I'm already (laughs) abandoning my principles. Oh, wow. (laughs) Lots of internal conflict here. This is good. Mm -hmm. I am Vegas. You are Vegas. Mm Mm-hmm. That's sick. <laughs> what happens what does that in mean? Patrick? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going with Vegas. I think they're right. Okay. So Golden State. Okay, good. Katie? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm also? Good. You know what? Also me, Golden State. Kevin? But I love Drew. Anyway. I, I love Drew Holiday. Matters. I love the brow. But I love being right, so I'm going to pick Golden State. Yeah. Okay. okay. You don't think Atwan Moore's going to turn it up to help uh, <laughs> the push him over the? I think hump? Golden State will be up like ten at the half, and then in the third quarter they'll go up by seventy. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then the game That's will kind of like play out. Um, <laughs> well, Clay just had a good game, so he's due for a, the worst game anyone's ever had. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows? That Durant guy. All right. So <laughs> there's there's only one more. Do you got everything so far, Matt? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, last game of the night. Mark. Yes. We got New York. Oh, New York. Playing New York. in Phoenix, Arizona. The Big Apple versus big Apple. the Big Cactus. And New York is favored <laughs> by four. New York favored in Phoenix. In Phoenix. By four? That's right. Well, Phoenix, bad Phoenix, team. Very bad. That's right. That's a bad team. I know. But Tyson Chandler <laughs> years late <laughs> revenge game. <laughs> right? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> maybe. It'd be a Tyson Chandler revenge game. <laughs> um... Well, yeah, I, you know, yeah, New York's going to cover that. New York's I'm not voting with my gut and my best wishes at all. Okay. I want Phoenix Lie to, to do great. <laughs> all right, you're going to New York, Pat. I'm going Phoenix. Phoenix. Wow. Yep. They got the worst mascot in the league, so I'm betting with oh, them. Oh, I love the Suns gorilla. Like the gorilla. Man in gorilla costume. Uh, no, it's not the worst. He's favorites. won a bunch King of awards. King Cake Baby's worst. Uh, King baby's worst. Uh, which Washington wait, is the sorry, worst King one. Baby. The alternate New Orleans mascot. King, it's a King, King Baby. Cake, King Cake Baby. Google it. Wait, is he like a keg? <laughs> no, it's like a terrifying baby. Ba- oh god, baby! How don't I know that? That's <laughs> way worse than a than. Yeah. Oh, and the gorilla does. Like and the pelican wrestling. is pretty bad. Too. No, Pierre the pelican. I, awesome. I don't. I don't mind. Sorry, the pelican. everything about like the pelican. It's all right, it's, except the it name does of a their mascot. Oh, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Sorry, okay. King King baby. King cake uh, baby. Everyone, King, King everyone, King Google. Baby. If you're at home, please Google. <laughs> King Cake Baby. Oh, oh my God. That's I, easily my favorite mask. I've That's never the, seen that before. He's like, he's like a special like Mardi Gras um, mascot. It's a porcelain Chucky doll. That is After like, seeing that mascot, I want to change my pick to New Orleans beating <laughs> the Golden State Warriors. And yeah, I mean my, that. Yeah. My yeah. Wow. King Cake does. Baby takes the court. Oh, my God. Okay. You Wait. made me so happy. Let's just, <laughs> let's, just, let's just wrap this up. So, oh New York. New, so, New York, New York. for you, Katie? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Phoenix. Kevin? I'm going to go New York. Okay, Matt? Going all road teams. Finish us off, Matt. Will you stay perfect? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go New York as well. Okay. well I want to hear from the two people who picked Phoenix why. Uh, I'm picking Phoenix. Because I don't believe in New York, uh. and I think that there's going to be some weird stuff going on with Hornacek as the coach, and Bledsoe or somebody from Phoenix is going to have a weird big game. Oh, like a prove him game? And they might even lose by two or one, but I feel like New York's not good enough to like do what they need to do on the road. You don't like Young Lurch? Porzingis. 
I love Porzingis. Is that is that a nickname we're working? Young, young, young Larch. Larch. Young, young Larch. 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 Oh, Larch. Larch. Oh. <laughs> I bet young large. Young large. Young large. Young large. Young large. Yeah, you're young awesome. and large. Let's call him young large. Uh, <laughs> let's call Perto young large. <laughs> yeah. Can we call Perto young yes. large, That's please? So Although great. he already has the best name in the league. You don't want to have to stop saying that. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. Bef- before we wrap up, Zach Lowe tweeted out uh, today that um, that the uh, Lowry plus bench unit, since it's so good, should have a better better nickname than or Lowry. Any, or plus, any nickname. Or yeah. any nickname. Yeah, uh, then right now we're just calling it Lowry Plus Bench. I had some ideas. <laughs> Can I run them by you? Mm-hmm. Is okay. it just Lowry Plus Bench with a heart carved around it? <laughs> Shit. Like okay, that. no, that's it. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Wait, what's that? Lineup of depth. I love that joke. That's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Too serious. Could also too say serious. It, okay, too fair enough. Too serious. The yeah. depth lineup. I kind of like that it has a bit of that rural juror quality, though. <laughs> the, the P in depth really kind of yeah. throws you off. Lineup of depth. Yeah, exactly. I like anything like that. I, lineup of life. That's no good. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Come on. You know, I, I was just trying to play in. Like, come on. Shit. I'm like letting myself down as this progresses. Um, the only other one I had that I thought like was maybe anything was all of their names combined. <laughs> it was, it was so a it's, lot. it's Kai Pabe. I can see a couple problems with right? this already. No, yeah. that's Kai perfect. Bae. Yeah, come Everyone on. Everyone shut Kai up. We've yeah, right? Get, Matt's already saying it nicely. <laughs> but like, can Jack say it? That <laughs> is the question we need oh, to answer. Okay, and here, com- and here comes... Kai Kote Babe. <laughs> yeah, right? That's what Jack sounds like. <laughs> But I wish that that Bebo Boys <laughs> was a more popular Bebo Boys. Bebo Boys. Bebo Boys. Bebo. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Does Does anyone have any any names? Maybe <laughs> Katie. Van Vliet and friends, with a V. Van Vliet wait, and wait, friends. Van Vliet's not on the wait. court. Van Vliet and friends. <laughs> but he's the leader. He's orchestrating from the bench. <laughs> you know what? When that unit's out there, he calls all the shots. <laughs> Van Vliet's calling the shots for Lowry. You see him lucky? You see him lucky? Yeah. He just rips off the clipboard from Casey. Oh, My plays lucky. now. So funny. Um, um, six it, friends. Six, six friends? friends? Yep. Who's the sixth? Nice. Drake. Uh, no. Oh, six like us, <laughs> yeah. like Toronto. Oh no, it's fine. I like it. Someone Thank also you. said yeah. Jurassic Five, which I. Oh, I'm that's really. That. Oh, that's way better. That's than fine. Who said some, that? Some, that's some, good. Some Twitter positive person. Hip hop. Yes. Yeah. Any age can listen to it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My parents love Jurassic Five. No doubt. Uh, they love no doubt too. <laughs> Woo! Tragic Kingdom. Oh, um, okay, <laughs> that's the bench name. I don't have a bench. Yeah. Okay. Our be- our new our bench name's Tragic Kingdom. What do you guys yeah, think? Tragic, yeah. Kingdom. Tragic Kingdom. That would be a good name for the Magic Any or like, lineup. <laughs> yeah. Or like Anastasia. <laughs> How about Dwayne's Babies? <laughs> Dwayne's babies. Dwayne's is, uh, cuties. Yeah. Dwayne's cuties. <laughs> Lowry and the cute. Lowry's cuties though. Yeah. Lowry's Lowry Kyle's in cuties. There? Kyle's cuties. Kyle's cuties. Kyle's cuties. Wait, we wait. got it. It's got a rectangle, it. four corners. Cute. Court. <laughs> Kyle's <cuties>. court. <laughs> no, we're calling it court. I mean, <laughs> it's an injustice that Bebe's not the one with the name on the stamp. You know. <laughs> yeah. No. So we'll settle on court then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to call it court. Uh, okay. Okay. Court lineup is great. Well, I think this is probably a solid four-hour podcast. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you, great. everybody, for sticking around. We made um, it weird. Wait, yeah, I, yeah. Have, I have more leaders. <laughs> to just oh, say. no. <laughs> um, well, I guess uh, we'll just... Uh, anyone have anything to plug? Katie, you got anything going on? Oh. Christmas. Christmas is just yeah. coming Check up. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Check out Christmas. You know what I mean? If you're if you're shopping like, and any way you want to experience Christmas, uh, I have do. Some gravy. I do have something coming out, just like a weird joke article uh, about the All Star Game. Nice. Ooh. It's uh, open correspondence between Adam Silver and Sting. So watch oh, out. That's that. amazing. That's well, really great. So where, where can no, we find? No, it gets gross. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> where, where, it's tantric. Where stuff. can we? Uh, where can we read that? Uh, I'll probably put it on my Twitter. Okay. But uh, it's like it's just on a little like medium site. Sweet. So make sure to follow Katie on Twitter. We'll we'll put her Twitter up for sure. Okay. Um, Pat, you got anything going on? I'm not sure if this is uh, uh, if this will come out on time, but uh, but uh, tomorrow, if you're in the Etobicoke area uh, and you need some help uh, 
with uh, uh, with some presents for Christmas, uh, come down to Lamp Community Health Center, and oh. uh, I will be helping out with the charity. Great. Okay. Yeah, I will, yeah, I'll be giving out toys to <laughs> people in need. So come on down to that. Also, check out my show whenever you want. All right. <laughs> Just check live at Comedy what's, Bar. What's the show called? Uh, it's called Boys Club. Okay, Boys mm-hmm. Club. Awesome. You can also see Pat uh, from any window of any apartment <laughs> or home Wait. looming over the city. It, Wait, like, <laughs> massive Every time stature. you've been to Etobicoke, I've you've seen me. It's true. Yeah. Massively. <laughs> oh, yeah? Taking up the horizon. Is this like a whole weird 40 stories he's, he's the yeah. one casually leaning on the top of the water tower. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. Right. Nice. That's right. Uh, Mark, right. you got anything going on? Do I? Um, you know, I'm not sure. Sh- I'm not sure. Yeah. For this holiday season, nothing much. Okay. Going to spend time with my girlfriend's dad. Oh. Nice. Spend time with my girlfriend's mom. <laughs> nice. Spend time nice. with some extended family. Okay. Go home for my dad's 70th birthday Happy in birthday. January. Happy wow. birthday, Mr. Happy birthday, Little. Mr. Little. Happy birthday, Dad. Don't listen to this. It's a surprise that I'm coming home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dad, don't you listen to oh, no. your son's uh, guest <laughs> podcast. And other than that, who knows? Keeping the binoculars at the ready and hoping old St. Nick passes by the little house. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> okay. All right. That was beautiful. Uh, Kevin? Oh, and- man. You know, read the Beaverton. Watch the Beaverton. That's uh, that's happening. Uh, last show of 2016 is tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> just one last one. Check Home Alone 1 and 2. Um, check Home Alone's 3 through 12 if you're feeling crazy. Sure. And, if you want to uh, get a dr- If you want to get drunk... Yeah, uh, have a drink anytime any character says Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> apparently yeah. you will be messed up after the first five minutes. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, everyone watch Ball on, on Christmas Day. I say, nice, yeah. awesome. Um, I'd like to say, uh, hey, Westbenders, uh, we're having a social at uh, the uh, Magic Oven or mm. Shocks or Mug Shop. We're not oh, sure wow. yet, but okay. um, if you want to meet Freddie Rivas in person, he will be there moving into his <laughs> new neighborhood soon. That's so funny. All right, so uh, I'm moving from High Park to very technically... The West Bend, which is like what two on? streets away. <laughs> and I didn't know it was a real area of Toronto, but Matt Matt knows uh, everything about West Bend, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, I'm moving Check to West Bend. Check out the westbend.ca. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so my plug is that I'm moving to West Bend, which is... <laughs> On the other side of Keel and Blur. <laughs> and you'll be hosting a meet and greet. <laughs> yeah. So why don't, why don't you swing by my place and I'll tell you about the new neighborhood. <laughs> Sounds great. How um, many neighborhoods have a name in Toronto? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. The West Everyone. Bend. Even the West Bend. Okay, thanks everybody. <laughs> Hello. We love you all. Can anyone around here speak basketball? This has been the Confederacy of Dunks with Kevin Dows and Freddie Revis. Please subscribe and rate on iTunes and Stitcher. And check out talkhole.co for more great podcasts. West Bend? <laughs>